Meghan Markle, Prince Harry to mark special occasion on King's Coronation Day. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have a special occasion to mark on the day of King Charles III's coronation. Hello. Magazine said confirmations about the former working royal's attendance at the British monarch's coronation have yet to emerge. But, it noted that despite this, the pair has another reason to celebrate that day. The historical event will take place at Westminster Abbey on May 6, 2023. On the same date, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's firstborn child will turn four, with the publication stating that there is no doubt the couple will plan something for the day. It remains unknown how Prince Harry and Meghan Markle intend to mark the special occasion this year. But, even so, the magazine recalled in the same report how they celebrated their eldest child's first birthday. It noted that the former working royal's Netflix docuseries, Harry and Meghan, featured glimpses of the celebration. These included a rare photo of the family, alongside the former actress's mother, Doria Ragland with the pair's son wearing a yellow party hat with confetti all over his high chair. The publication also stated that the series showed the Duchess of Sussex as she made a balloon arch for the birthday of her and the Duke of Sussex's eldest child. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry officially became parents in 2019. The then working royals announced the milestone on their official social media accounts with people noting at the time that the name of the new addition to the British royal family would be revealed in due course. In its report, published in May 2019, the magazine quoted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex from the caption of their post, writing, We are pleased to announce that their royal highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex welcomed their firstborn child in the early morning May 6, 2019. It continues, The Duchess and baby are both healthy and well and the couple thank members of the public for their shared excitement and support during this very special time in their lives. More details will be shared in the forthcoming days. Meanwhile, in October, a royal expert spoke to Entertainment Tonight and discussed what it means for the king's coronation to fall on the day of his grandson's birthday. Katie Nichol told the outlet that it is definitely not a snub at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, adding that she thinks it is very much a happy coincidence. The expert explained that a huge amount of planning has to go into an important moment in history, such as a coronation, and the royal calendar is full of anniversaries and birthdays. Accordingly, she believes it is absolutely one of those occasions where it's a coincidence and hopefully a happy one. Prince Harry and Meghan to celebrate special occasion at King Charles's coronation. King Charles III's coronation takes place at Westminster Abbey on 6 May. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's attendance at King Charles's coronation on 6 May is yet to be confirmed, with Prince Harry addressing the matter in his ITV interview with Tom Bradby. See what he had to say about his father's coronation in the video below. Whether the Sussexes do fly to London for the service remains to be seen, but there's another special occasion for the couple to celebrate on the day. Harry and Meghan's eldest child, Archie, will mark his fourth birthday on 6 May, and no doubt his parents will plan something special for their little boy. In the Sussex's Netflix docuseries, which aired in December, Meghan could be making a spectacular balloon arch for her son's milestone first birthday. A rare snap of the family celebrating alongside Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, was also included in the series, which showed Archie wearing a yellow party hat with confetti all over his high chair. A video of Meghan reading Duck. Rabbit. To Archie was shared at the time, in support of a Save the Children campaign. Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor was born on May 6, 2019 at the Portland Hospital in London, with Harry sharing details about his son's birth in his memoir, Spare, which was released in January. The tot spent the first six months of his life living at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, before Harry and Meghan took an extended break in Canada ahead of their announcement that they wanted to step back as senior royals in January 2020. Since the summer of 2020, the Sussexes have been living in Montecito, Santa Barbara. Harry and Meghan welcomed their daughter, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor, in June 2021. The couple celebrated Lilibet's first birthday during their trip to the UK last year for Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee, with a tea party at Frogmore Cottage. 
Harry and Meghan to be invited to the king's coronation despite total circus concerns. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be included in the 2000 strong guest list for Charles' coronation, a source has claimed. A royal insider has claimed that the Sussexes, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle, will definitely be invited to King Charles' coronation ceremony on May 8. Planners are reportedly working with the assumption that the two will be invited to the historic event. Invitations for the 90-minute coronation service at Westminster Abbey are to be sent out to the likes of royals, dignitaries and world leaders this month. The Mirror reports that there is a 2,000-strong guest list, and claims that the Sussexes won't be included are not true despite recent rifts. However, there are said to be some steps that need to be taken in order to avoid a total circus on the day. The three-day event will see the king officially crowned following the passing of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, last year. A source told The Sun, they will definitely be invited, and we are working on the assumption that they will come. This is despite Harry's tell-all memoir as well as the couple's Netflix documentary. The source claimed that work will be done to smooth out any awkwardness amongst the royal family. They said, it would be helpful if they came earlier though so it's not a total circus on the day. Harry and Meghan stepped down as working royals in January 2020. Last month, the Duke of Sussex released his memoir, titled Spare, which detailed his relationship with several royals. The book details a fight between Harry and his brother Prince William as well as accusations that members of the family leaked information to the press. The allegations are said to have left some working royals feeling raw. The coronation will see processions and feature two appearances from Charles on the Buckingham Palace balcony. He and his queen consort Camilla, will also take part in a ceremonial parade called the Coronation Procession. A bank holiday will be held to mark the event. The last coronation that was held was in June 1953, when Queen Elizabeth took the throne. Harry and Meghan have traveled to the UK from their California home to attend both the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and her funeral last year.
such as a coronation, and the royal calendar is full of anniversaries and birthdays. Accordingly, she believes it is absolutely one of those occasions where it's a coincidence and hopefully a happy one. Prince Harry and Meghan to celebrate special occasion at King Charles's coronation. King Charles III's coronation takes place at Westminster Abbey on 6 May. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's attendance at King Charles's coronation on 6 May is yet to be confirmed, with Prince Harry addressing the matter in his ITV interview with Tom Bradby. See what he had to say about his father's coronation in the video below. Whether the Sussexes do fly to London for the service remains to be seen, but there's another special occasion for the couple to celebrate on the day. Harry and Meghan's eldest child, Archie, will mark his fourth birthday on 6 May, and no doubt his parents will plan something special for their little boy. In the Sussexes' Netflix docuseries, which aired in December, Meghan